But 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 wait, it gets worse. But 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 wait, it gets worse. Check one two. Check one two. Check one two. Can I be heard? Press seven if I can be heard. Press seven if I can be heard. Family, I'm gonna talk to y'all tonight. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to y'all tonight. Check one, two, check one, two. Can I be heard? Let me see, let me see, let me see. Check one, two, check one, two. Let me make sure that I can be heard. Check one, two, check one, two. Check one, two, check one, two. Hold up, it don't sound like I want it to sound. Can y'all hear me? How do I sound? How do I sound? I hope I ain't break my mic. Dropping it on the ground every time, rushing for y'all. Yeah, I think it is low. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. It feel low. Hold up. Let me see. Yeah, we ain't going to have this low. Volume is low. Yeah, we ain't going to have this low. Hold on one second. We ain't going to have this. Check one, two, check one, two, check one, two. Hold on. Check one, two, check one, two, check one, two. That seemed a little bit odd that my volume is low like that. Let me check my system. Let me check my system. How y'all doing tonight? How y'all doing tonight? It sound loud in my ear, but it's not loud on the... um on the meters, let me check the meters. I need the meters to wobble in the Twitters, Twitch, something like that they used to say back in the day. Check one, two, check one, two. Check, 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 check. All right, tell me, tell me when, the, when it sounds uh, uh, normal. I'll be, I, this is my office too, so you know. I'll be, uh, I'll be doing the most sometime. All right, check, 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 check. I want to make sure this sounds good. I've been working with stuff too, so hmm. let's see. Check one, two. How do I sound? I'm good. Let me, let me, let me, let me go and look at my. Let me listen to myself. Let me see how I sound. Let me see how I sound. Make sure I sound. Right. Cause family, I'm about to lay some stuff out this evening. I got. I might have to get me a new mic, man. I don't like how this mic sound in my ear. Let me. I hope everybody. Y'all know Diddy got low, right? Diddy got super low. Diddy, let me see. Let me see. Yeah, Diddy got out of there. Diddy got super low. All right, I sound all right. I sound all right. I sound all right. Yeah, Diddy got low on y'all. But I'm going to tell you something. It's going to be a whole bunch of people getting low. It's going to be a whole bunch of people getting low. Let me tell you something real quick. Listen to me. There's gonna be a whole bunch of people. There's gonna be a whole bunch of people out here getting low. If it's up to me. That's right. Anyway. Anyway, family. Let me not hold y'all up. Welcome to another edition of Morse World TV. Uh man, I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. <sighs> I'm late. I apologize. How do I sound? I don't like how my mic sound. My mic sound real raggedy right now. Listen, listen. A lot of people, are y'all with me? Press one if y'all with me. I can't stand how my mic sounding right now and my ears sound real funny. Are y'all with me? Press, press seven if y'all with me. I wanna make sure I sound all right. Cause uh, I'm, turning into a, I'm turning into a talk show now. Yeah, yeah. Hey, family, if y'all with me, let me tell you this, family. Who is familiar with Jaguar Wright? If you're familiar with Jaguar Wright, remember when Jaguar Wright was 
doing all of the videos exposing the celebrities, exposing, uh, most importantly, the rappers and the R&B singers. And they thought, somebody say it sound mono, not in stereo. And they thought that she was um, pretty much, let me see what I got here. They thought she was pretty much crazy. They was calling her crazy. You know what I'm saying? She was going video after video after video. She was getting she was getting uh, pages taken down, pages taken down, pages taken down. You ever noticed that no one gave her an order of peace? You 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 ever noticed that? Jaguar right? She was hitting them hard, hard, hard. No one called her and said that. Uh, they would say she was crazy. And I'm going to tell you something. You know what stands out to me? What stands out to me is how people will call someone crazy, but then when everything go full circle, no one will say, my bad. You follow me? Do y'all remember just a few months ago? Do y'all remember just a few months ago? Uh, um, Moist Lips was defending Diddy. Do y'all remember that? Do y'all remember Moist Lips just a few months ago was defending Diddy and claiming that these allegations was just for the bag? Do y'all remember that? Anybody remember that? They he was claiming that these allegations that Cassie or whoever it was was making was nothing more but for the bag. Now today, no one will hold this this moist lip guy accountable. It's insane to me. It's insane to me. If you don't know who Moist Lips is, don't worry about it. You're going to have to catch up another time. But it's insane to me how our people has been derailed from common sense. It's crazy to me where I've been demonized as the bad guy because I reveal to you that we have not only do we have a half-witted informant amongst us, but a grifter amongst us and that I put everything on the line to make sure that the information get out so there be no mistake about it. You follow me? So there be no mistake about it. But then when someone runs to the Romans, they cheerlead. Yay! Yay! He got you. When someone runs to the Romans, and I'm trying to warn you, I'm trying to warn you that there's a fox in the hen house. Yay! 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 He got you. You understand what I'm saying? It's strange to me how this world of ours has turned inside out. It's so crazy to me. Like someone would, would pull up my record, right? And I always say this. Someone would pull up my record and say, well, look, in 1990, such and such and such and such. But then the people that they look up to, that they follow, that they uh, uh, send their hard-earned money to, they don't know him from a can of paint. is crazy and then the sad thing about it is one of the major sad things about it is is that a lot of these people was in the mix and this is why people defend Diddy they defend Diddy because they have been a part of the Diddy party when they say Diddy loved the party they have been a part of those parties 
They definitely been a part of them parties. They was in some of the early videos with Diddy. Acting as, of all things, an FBI agent. Do y'all remember that? Press 7 if y'all remember. Press 7 if y'all remember. Acting as an F FBI or some sort of secret agent in the Diddy video. You feel what I'm saying? It, 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 it's surprising to me that somebody named Art of Magic can speak to crypto as if he know crypto, but he don't know what we're talking about. Crypto, you don't want your boy podcast. How you know crypto is my boy, but you don't know what we're talking about. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. These agents are everywhere. He knows that crypto is my boy, but he don't know what we're talking about in this chat. Somebody block Art of Magic, please. Somebody block him immediately. You see how you see how silly that is? He can say Crip is my boy, but he don't know what we're talking about. You see what I'm talking about? This is what I'm talking about of how these agents and informants work. I mean, this is how they work. This is how they work. He gonna say Crip your boy, but then gonna ask a dumb question. You gotta block that agent. You got to block that agent. You got to you got to make a make another account, another account, and we've been doing this long enough that we're able to see agents right up in the chat. We we able to see that off the break. Sometimes we let y'all breathe a little bit for the algorithms. But times like this, now you just too stupid. You just too stupid. You know what I mean? Times like this you just too stupid. And 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 dumb is dumb does dumb was. Get out of here. You're just too stupid. You know what I mean? Come on. Be more wittier than that. Make me, make it believable. Come on, man. Insane. Anyway, family. Anyway, what up, Deronda Brown? So, family, I'm going to start doing shows like this uh, because we're going for the big fish. We're not going for the nickel and dime informant grifting people for their hard-earned money. You know what I mean? If 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 they're gonna send the Romans at me, then let the big fish sit. Man, we're not going for 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 people who 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 dressing up, playing the part. We're gonna start covering stories uh, of the big stories because a lot of these stories I get first. A lot of them I get first. Like I'm wasting my time when with 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 some of these people where I didn't already put out the information. If people want to choose to continue to give their hard earned money to a club that they think is going to be some cultural institution, then that's on them at some point. You know what I mean? That's on them at some point. You know what I mean? That's just on them at some point. You know what I mean? It, it is what it is. I mean. We got to grab bigger stories now. We got to let people know the wisdom of how to figure out that there is a fox in the hen house on a major level. You know what I'm saying? And let me tell you something. At the end of the day, everything is going to come out. That's right. At the end of the day, it's all going to come out. That's right. Because guess what? The mystery man has been a part of these circles. They, he has been a part of these circles. It's that it's it's been rumored for a long time about the underage girls. It's been rumored for a long time about the parties, the strip clubs. It's been rumored for a long time. It's been rumored for a long, long time. So there is no running. There will be no running. As I said, you might be next. You might be next. See, one thing about that you'll learn if you study, anybody ever study espionage, anybody ever study informants, anybody ever study people that works undercover for the people, at some point, you become expendable. You follow me? And when you become expendable, all it takes is one slip up and your whole world begins to crumble. And 
I know that I've been studying formants for a long time, whether by book, fiction, nonfiction, and all of that. And I know that right now there is a, 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 a restart going on. Let me talk about this real quick. I got a cousin, right? Cousin of mine named Mason. Shout out to Mason. I got a cousin named Mason. And he says to me uh, back in the day, you remember when Diddy was dancing? Good goodness of grace, he was getting it in. And I would say to Mason, Diddy is my man. I said, man, Diddy be grooving. You know what I'm saying? Diddy, I, mean, I used to like how he swirl around. You been around the world, and blah, yeah, yeah. I've been playing your hater. He be swirling around that demonstration. I said, man, Diddy be getting it in. That's my man. And my cousin used to be like, no, nah, cuz. That's how he talk. Talk, talk real, talk real, real, real laid back. No, nah, cuz. Cuz Diddy is a killer. I said, man, you crazy. He was saying this in the early 90s. He was saying this in the early 90s. No, nah, cuz. Diddy, 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 Diddy a killer. I said, man, you tripping, man. And then you start hearing about the the the, the beef with uh the East Coast, West Coast beef. When that began to kick off, you know what I mean? He hit me with the same thing. Yeah, man. He a killer. <laughs> <coughs> I was like, man, my cousin tripping. Because my cousin used to like smoke them trees. You know what I mean? He used to like smoke them trees back then, right? I was like, man, you, man, you high, man. You, man, you, man, you know cuz I like that good ganja. You know what I mean? I was like, man, you tripping. But I tell you what, I got to, I got to give it to my cousin. He's spot on. He is spot on. Because now, in 2024... We get to see what really been going on for the last 20 years. And last but not least, I seen an interview with Mace. And Mace said something that was so profound. Mace and Betha said, Mace and Betha, he said, they asked him, somebody asked him, do he regret going to the church or leaving the rap game and going to the church. And Mason Betha so profoundly said, no. He said, because while the time, while I was in the church, all of this was happening. I thought that was one of the most profound things that a brother could say considering all things that happened all things that has happened in the past. And we laughed at him. Somebody trying to take him out. We laughed at, we laughed, because I'm a rap fan. I don't know about y'all. I love hip hop. I love hip hop. So I've been following hip hop since I was uh, knee, knee high to a grasshopper. You know what I mean? Far as I could remember. I thought I was going to grow out of it. And so when May said that, uh, uh, no, he said, I missed all of that, I was like, "Wow, that that was well. That was a well thought out answer. You know what I mean? That was a well thought out answer." But now, with that being said, with that being said, you know, this is the rebirth of a new era. When you start to see someone that has been protected like Diddy, everybody. Hold up, listen, listen, family. Anybody that has been following these stories know good and well that, you know what I mean, this is the Diddy that we remember. Y'all remember this Diddy? This is the, this is the right after Howard University Diddy. Y'all remember this Diddy? This was the Diddy we thought was our friend. This was the Diddy that had colors hiding and we didn't know. And there's many colors that are hiding that we don't know. See, all these colors that are hiding right before our face, we take for granted that everyone is cool, everyone is real. But we, we, we didn't know who, who that was behind that. I'm of the thought that you don't grow into a madman 
that the right circumstances present themselves and the person that in that's inside ultimately comes out. That's it. I mean, that's it. Miss Betty teacher said, who did, did, did he pee off? He went too far. He went too far. I don't think he actually peed off anybody. I think when people get to a certain level, they just get arrogant. And they get arrogant to the point where they don't even see the cliff in front of them. They, 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 let me, let me. Let me let me let me share this with you real quick. Let me share some of this some of this stuff that I got here that I want to share with you real quick. Now, one of the things that I want to share is I, it was something that I read where it talks about Diddy only been charged for one thing that he was accused of, and the only thing that he got was maybe community service, maybe a couple hours, and that was years ago. Let's take a look at this. Let's have a look at P. Diddy's alleged list of bodies. Now, in this video, I'm describing Let bodies. Set this up properly. Let me set this up properly because I need y'all to hear this. Let me set this up properly. You know what I mean? I got my stuff, I got to pre arrange my stuff in the future. Let me set this up properly. Listen to this and, and let's see if we have been paying attention. Have we been paying attention? You know what I mean? Let's see if we've been paying attention real quick. Let me go right here real quick. Here we go. All right. Now, in this video, I'm describing bodies as people who have been shot and or... Do we got an echo there? Let me make sure we ain't got an echo there. Because I'm hearing funny sounds. Make sure we ain't got an echo. Let me see. Let me see something real quick. I got to check on my phone. How y'all sound? Let me check something real quick. All right, hold up. One second. All right, here we go. Here we go. So work with me, family, because I ain't got all my stuff set up properly, but work with me. So here we go. Killed in P. Diddy's presence, allegedly, and people who have been S8 and or great in P. Diddy's presence, allegedly. The list is expensive and goes all the way back to 1995 when Jake Robles was killed outside of an Atlanta nightclub after he got into an argument with the bad boy camp, which is P. Diddy's camp. In 1997, at the City College of New York, nine people died at an event that P. Diddy hosted. In 1999, an artist that Diddy was working with named Shine shot into a nightclub and wounded three people. An eyewitness said that she saw Diddy also shooting into the crowd, but Diddy was acquitted of the charges. Shine, however, was sentenced to, I believe, 10 years in prison. And, of course, this week, Lil Rod, Rodney Jones, allegedly saw P. Diddy and his son go into a bathroom and uh, heard some shots and um, found a man bleeding out in that the same bathroom. So all in all, the number of people that P. Diddy has allegedly shot or was in the presence of when they were shot and or killed has grown to 14. The list of people essayed and or graped allegedly by P. Diddy or in P. Diddy's presence is much shorter at five. Both the singer Cassie and the producer Lil Wong accuse P. Diddy of trafficking them and or giving them a cocktail of drugs while initiating sexual actions with them. 
Two unidentified people, one of them being 17 at the time of the alleged assault, accused PDD of raping them with more than one person at a time. The last unidentified person accuses P. Diddy of raping her in 1991, recording the grape and sharing it amongst his friends, allegedly, with 11 deaths allegedly connect connected to P. Diddy, three shot allegedly connected to P. Diddy, and five people essayed and or great allegedly connected to P. Diddy. The harshest sentence that Diddy has ever received thus far is one day of anger management. The rich do not have any accountability. In this country, people are in fact above the law. Now, if if a person is able to track that, that's a that's an everyday citizen is able to track that. You mean tell me with the most sophisticated, so we think the most sophisticated law enforcement investigators on the planet. Don't nobody else know that? That don't nobody else know that? And you don't think that there is other child traffickers right before you right now? Many people, some of these people are married to the people that they trafficked. And in the day of the internet, why not speak out? Why not? Why not speak out? Why not speak out? Some people married the child that they trafficked. And everybody knows it. And everybody knows it and don't care. You know, it's a song, and I don't want to throw them under the bus, but, but truth is truth. It's a song. Let me see if I can pull it up. Let me see if I can pull it up just for the fact that. To show you. To show you the level of I don't care in our society. Let's see if I can pull this up real quick. All right. Let me close this all out. Make sure I ain't got nothing up here. All right. I'm about to share this with you real quick. This is a song that when I was young and and I was a teenager if I wasn't I wasn't above age at all but this is a song that no one even spoke out against although the lyrics is talking Giving up the nappy dugout. Your daughter was a nice girl. Now she's a a queen treating Nick just like King Tut. Gobbling up sort of like a hummingbird. Sucking up the lynch mob crew and not coming third. Used to get straight A's. Now she just skipping class. Oh, my God, how I like the grip, the hips. and Only 17 with a lot of practice. And if you listen to the whole lyrics of that song, it would imply, not saying, not, not, not saying that it's saying this, but it would imply, even though it's just a song and it could be fiction, but it would imply that grown men are taking advantage of a 17 year old it would imply now that i'm older and i'm not being entertained no more as a youth 
I'm listening to this stuff like, whoa, wait a minute now. Wait a minute now. So this is common in the entertainment business. This is very, very, this is very, very normal, it appears, for the entertainment business. Listen to this. Listen to this. Diddy, (laughs) Diddy, man, the funny part about all this is that is you see people talking about it, but you don't see a lot of people condemning it. And when I'm saying condemning it, like, Bro, you out of order. Doing videos, bro. Because this is this is crazy. Like, I just pulled up the Ice Cube. I love Ice Cube. You know what I mean? I love Ice Cube. Well, back then I did. You know what I mean? I love his, 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 uh, his talent, his music. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? 16 is good. KRS-One. You see what I'm saying? See, if we was to call everybody out, all of your heroes would be villains if we was to call everybody out. Do you know what I mean? Listen to this. I like if uh, uh, Immortal says that it's something bigger going on. Let me share with you this, and then we're going to take it full circle. Do you know what I mean? Let's start with Jay-Z. So as you know, so as you can see, Mr. West is very familiar with how Sean Carter likes to handle people who talk a little too much for his comfort. Jay-Z is also said to be behind the passing of rapper Big L. I don't know how true this is. Allegedly, I've seen this on Twitter, but I'm I'm not even getting into that part. Another New York native who was raised, who was on the rise to stardom, but I digress. There's also another story as to the reason singer Aaliyah was taken out. I mean, quick question. Why do people claim to be Moors but then say they are Ethiopians? I, I want to catch that question. Uh, uh, that's Sabir Bay. That's Sabir Bay. Sabir Bay, he, he, uh, Sabir, something is wrong with Sabir Bay. They, they, that's Sabir Bay. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Sabir Bay going to talk about his books. Let him talk about his books to his 50 50, 60 people, and then he hear me say this, and then he said, that's why you got smacked, and it's, that's Sabir Bay. Sabir Bay of more than the Ethiopian, then the Nation of Islam, then this, then it. That's Sabir Bay. Hey, we don't, I mean, Sabir Bay, the bad child out there picking boogers, plucking them at people. Ain't nobody paying no attention to Sabir Bay. If that's who you're talking about, that's who. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, there is also another story as to the reason singer Aaliyah was taken out. People know in the music industry that Jay-Z became jealous of Dame Dash and Aaliyah's relationship. So this may be one of the reasons, this may be one of the reasons why Jay-Z was started to distance himself from Dame Dash. And this is all alleged. This is all alleged. Um, Distance himself from Dame Dash and led to the infamous Def Jam meeting that Dame Dash walked in on where he went on a tirade about why Def Jam holding a meeting with his artist, which was Jay-Z, at the time without notifying him in advance. With all the infamous Jeffrey Epstein island lists, which had both Beyonce and Jay-Z on it, so of course there is still more to dig into in that area but for now the focus seems on p diddy who has exclusive info on the death of kathy white that was willing to use to bring down jay-z and a host of other people with him including td jakes allegedly so so here we go here we go Immortal said there's is it's, it's bigger than Diddy. Now Diddy is a is big, but I agree. It's bigger than Diddy. What you're looking at is, is that let me get to the top of the story. 
So it appears that Sean P. Diddy Combs is willing to take the Carters down with him. Rapper Jay-Z was having an affair with a woman named Kathy White, allegedly, who was said to be pregnant with Jay-Z Chow upon her death back in 2010. This info is coming from anonymous retired medical assistant of Kathy, former OBGYN. who is said to be ready to talk to either the authorities or the media. Morse World TV, crash out, going to get that story. Which was around the time Beyonce was pregnant with Blue Ivy. White was ready to come forward with the relationship of or affair with Jay-Z prior to the VMA announcement of Beyonce being pregnant. Of course, this appears to have been a lot, have been made a lot of people PR nervous that Jay-Z works with, keeping, keep his, works with, to keep his image clean. Kathy White was reported to have died from brain aneurysm. Family, I want you to always remember that. Whenever someone died from brain aneurysm, heart attack, or something like that, when they was uh, exposing something, about to expose something, that is always suspect. Always suspect. Never forget that. Um, um, uh, 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 they, and it appears Jay-Z was involved with the incident as well some may brush this off as typical no substance rumor until you realize that kanye west said years ago while on stage at saint pablo tour regarding jay-z and his potential killers for hire now with that being said family this is what it, this is what i'm saying this is what i'm saying l l l l such say that is reaching what I'm saying is, is that we don't know, bro. Stranger things are happening right now. Stranger things are happening right now. So so to, just because we haven't uncovered the evidence, I can research it. I can research it and we can connect the dots because even those stories are connecting to the missing children Don't forget about Sedona, Arizona. Coven of eight, mothers of darkness. Hillary Clinton. You go all the way down to this list here. They got Beyonce, Melinda Gates on this. They say, what you are seeing with P. Diddy will lead you back to a lot of what people will never suspect. Think about the 600 missing children that was kidnapped in Arizona. Everything will connect back to child, you hear what I said? Now, when you look at some of the people that I covered, some of the people that I covered that we can connect to Haiti, talking about they're going to make water for the children, talking about they're going to build houses for the children, and the children are missing in Haiti, the children are missing in Atlanta, some of the people that I covered, these are the same people that are friends in these circles, but they're not as popular on the radar of superstardom. But it's the same circle. It's the same circle. Like, we know without a doubt a contradiction that some of the people that I covered, we know that some of the people that I covered show signs being involved in this type of behavior, child moving. Ohio, I don't. How can someone say Ohio? I can put someone that I covered in Ohio. I can put them in Atlanta. I can put them in hate in Haiti. I can put them, huh? I can put them in 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 uh. What is that? Uh uh, uh um. What's the place in California? Uh uh, uh um. Where the, where they had the massage parlor? Uh uh uh. Where Snoop from? Huh? I can, the thing is, is that a lot of things that I've uncovered, a lot of things that I've uncovered just looking for a certain type of individual amongst us in this conscious type of diaspora, I found so much. I found so much. I found so much that I haven't even put out yet. And what I found is that it all connects. This is why I said you may be next. 
you may be next. Because what I found, let me tell you something about research. The way research works, you may go looking for one thing and then it spider webs out. And then it spider webs out to a bunch of other stuff. And so you may you may see, you may see child moving. You may see child uh, 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 predators and taking advantage of children. You may see all of this stuff. And the most odd thing is, is when someone marries the victim that was a child. And nobody says nothing. And that shows you the craziness of the world that we live in today. Like everybody be in a circle know good and well that that person was a child and you married a child. And no one says anything. No one said nothing to no one said nothing to R. Kelly when 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 everybody was around him doing this madness. Nobody said nothing. They only said something or appeared appalled once it came out. That's it. Once it came out, that's when they act like they were appalled. But it, it was a bunch of men standing around. It was a bunch of women standing around. You follow me? Oh, let me let me say this the immortal truth. Brother, everything is political, bro. Everything is political, bro. Don't think anything that deals with people who have some sort of, sort of stardom has nothing to do with politics. Everything is political. It's house cleaning time. That's what it is. Wait, it gets worse. It's house cleaning time. And, and and guess what? You don't know. All of these people that's been doing that dirt, they don't know if they're going to get that knock next. That's right. That's right. They don't know if they're going to get that knock next. They might get that knock next. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. They might get that knock next. And when that knock come, bam. See that? They got baby boy and everybody. See that? There, 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 there is no, listen, one thing for sure and two things for certain. When they move, all of your money, all of your smooth talk, all of your connections, see, see, listen. If you got an FBI informant, right? But another group come in, like Homeland Security. Anybody notice? Did anybody pay attention that it was Homeland Security that came in? Anybody pay attention? Did anybody pay attention that it was Homeland Security? It wasn't the FBI. They probably was winging it right along the, the fringes of the operation. But according to news reports, Homeland Security was leading this investigation. So it goes to show that when the FBI hands are tied and another entity comes in, you can be an informant all you want. It's game over. It's game over. Oh, it's, it was all good just a week ago. It was all good just a week ago. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, this is bittersweet. This is bittersweet to see that this thing is tumbling down. Because these same devils, the same energy, the same spirit is the same devils that attack me. It's the same devils that attack Jaguar right. It's the same devils that has destroyed generations of people. It's the same devils that have destroyed generations of people. Let me see how my mic sound. It don't sound good in my ear. Let me see. Let me see how my mic sound. Oh, my mic sound pretty good. My mic sound pretty good. Thank you. Y'all ain't say nothing. Y'all ain't say nothing. But anyway, but yeah, 
But yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing. It's the same devils. What's up, Michael Connor? It's the same devils, the same energy that have destroyed generations of people. Man, listen. How in the world did Russell Simmons be accused of something and then it goes off the, the radar and then Russell Simmons is in another country and then takes a picture, takes a picture with Usher skinning and grinning, smiling and beguiling after being, after being accused of the most ridiculous, heinous, nasty crimes. But you don't hear it in the news. If I was to cover something like that over and over and over, they would say I'm trolling. If I will cover somebody that is an agent, that is an informant, or that is a predator, and I do 100 episodes, they would say I'm trolling. They would say, oh, oh, we need to get some type of order in place because you can't make no more videos about that. You getting too close. You did getting too close to something. You getting real close to something. We can't let you keep talking. We got to find some loophole to stop you from talking. And that's what's happening now on social media. But we're going to find a loophole to keep us talking. That's what we're going to do. That we're going to do. And look, the days are short now. The days are short now. When these peens, when these Romans decide that your run is up and you were just shaking the hand, skinning and grinning, smiling and beguiling with the Romans, and now they flip table on you. Don't cry now. Talking about black people ain't. Black people don't help black people. Don't run the black people game now. That's the next thing they'll do now. Black people always gossiping. That's the next thing they're going to run. Try to make feel, people feel guilty for examining the story. That's the next game that they run. I mean, oh, why you hate on black people? Why you hate on black people? Now, nah, man, we need to clean our own house up. We need to clean our own house up. I'm telling you that, that somebody said the dots are connecting. I'm telling you that all of these people go together from documentarians, from movie makers, from rappers, from it all goes together. This is why I like people like Method Man. You know what I mean? Method Man, man, you know what? he been married to his wife. Uh, um, I mean, back during the married days with the you all I need. My favorite rapper, AZ. Man, that man is so chill. That man, AZ. Anybody familiar with AZ? That's my number one rapper of all time. I know, I know he may not be, you may not be yours because you might like the, the clownish people or whatever the case may be. But AZ, man. Straight, straight thorough. Straight thorough. Ain't taking no mess. You know what I mean? Ain't with the clown stuff. You start talking to clown stuff, he gonna look at you like you're crazy. You know what I mean? He gonna look at you like you're crazy. He ain't gonna involve himself in it. He ain't doing it. He just solid. He just solid. That's the type of people I like. He just solid. You know what I mean? And not to mention, not to mention, man, every time he drops something, I'll be just looking at his rhyme patterns like, whoo! You know what I mean? Um, even like Red Man, solid. Man, we got we got solid people out there. Red Man, solid. They try to push him to get this old mess, man. What up? I'm out of here. Solid. So we got solid people amongst us, but it's the ones that is not so solid, always being pushed to the forefront and being pushed down our throat. And Diddy has been one of them. Diddy has been one of them. And the crazy thing about it is, like I say, people laughed at Mace when he went to the church. I mean, oh, my goodness, that is so bittersweet. They, they laughed at Mace. <laughs> Dr. Sir. 
<laughs> Dr. Assar, man, you know I'm over here tethering. Dr. Assar say I pe- see you picked up something while you was out. <laughs> that right. Listen, man. Hey, let me sidebar for a minute. Family, one thing about me, I love my people. Oh, my goodness. The, the, the Moors get mad at me. I'm trying to tell you, because I'm straight Moorish American. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm North African American. I'm Native. I'm Indigenous. I'm our people, everything. You know what I mean? But I just subscribe to the Moorish thought. But yeah, I got me new. Actually, my wife bought that for me for my birthday. My wife bought me that piece. I'll explain that piece later. That's a serious piece right there. That's a serious piece right there. My wife, my wife bought that for my birthday. Um, yeah. Ain't that amazing, man? That's what she got me for my birthday. I'm just excited. <laughs> I'm just excited. But back to my point. Dr. Saw, he disturbed the show. He disturbed the show. Anyway, back to my point. The whole thing in a nutshell is, the whole thing in a nutshell is that we have to begin to, if, if you got a voice, this is not for everybody, but if you got a voice, you should be calling people out. And like sometimes, man, like the twerk videos are over now. Ain't nobody, are they still doing the twerk videos? People popping their behind and all that. They still doing that? Is that still out? I mean, are they still doing the twerk videos? Like if even if you cover news stories, you should. That's what I'm about to do. That's what I'm about to do. I'm, I'm, I'm covering all these crazy stories to help you be aware, and we're going to connect these dots. Man, because I'm going to tell you, man, these $2 informants, man, man, they just give you a headache. These $2 informants and these, these $5 grifters, man, they like a fly at the cookout. They trying to get all up in the tater salad, man. Ain't nobody got time for that, man. Seriously, man, after after I cover you for a couple months, man, and you just start to uh, be annoying, you know what I mean? Man, go on talk about your aliens, man. Go on talk, go on, go on talk about your club that you talk about is going to be a cultural institution. Go on, man. All right, all right. You got it. You got it. You got it. You, you got it. I mean, the fly, the gnat trying to get all up in your green beans, man. Man, go on, man. Go on, man. Go on, man. Go on, man. <laughs> but, and I want to show people, you know, things like how one can put their sons into these circles. Now you have introduced a whole generation into something that they shouldn't even be involved with. You know what I'm saying? This is what has happened. Now you put another generation. You follow what I'm saying? Now you got a whole nother generation and something that they shouldn't be involved in. Some of the rumors that you heard about what they was involved with. Some of the some of the allegations that they claim that they was involved with. Young brother supposed to have a promise in life. I mean, to the best of their ability until they choose their own way. But this seemed like it was directed into the ways of this madness. Crazy. Is this, this, is this, is this, is, 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 is it all worth it at the end of the day? Insane. Now, I don't know if they're going to hold them young brothers or not. But nevertheless, can you imagine? Can you imagine that now you have found a way to get the drop on that they trying to run down on you and you get the drop 
and you get on your private plane and you dip. You dip. Somebody said he already got released. That's good. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to thank you, Messiah. Talk to the uh, the sons that got released. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that. I don't want to see anybody uh, locked up. You know what I'm saying? But nevertheless, allegedly he done dipped insane. What is the mentality? What what has it come to? What, what, what the world has the world come to? He didn't got the drop and got low. That remind me of the D. That remind me of the D boy game back in the day. Look, they ain't gonna lock you up. They gonna let you go. You know what I mean? You just you you good. I'm out of here. <laughs> and then the funnier part about going to Antigua. The whole thing about Antigua. I don't know if. Then we'll find out tomorrow, um, but I'm pretty sure. Um, and maybe his a lawyer, maybe his his lawyer will in, maybe negotiate um, a bond, a pre bond, and he might turn himself in, or he might just get low. You know what I mean? Or do they even have a warrant out for him? You know what I'm saying? But I would I would believe that they have a warrant out for him because they're not coming and just search no house and let you walk away like that. You know what I mean? I mean, I, I ain't got that happening. Um, and, and and the way they the way they came, they came heavy. They came heavy. And they didn't only come, listen, they did not only come to California, they also went to Miami. And this how this how they pulling up. Super dramatic. <laughs> Super dramatic, but 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 let me tell you something. Um, uh, uh, El Typhoon, he said they're being extra, but when you understand Diddy history, right? Do you know Diddy? His people was gangsters back in the day. You do know that, right? Diddy, like I had to do some research. I didn't know that Diddy pops. Was it was 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 really built like that? Yeah, they say his past was in, was in <laughs> it was in the thick of it. I mean, said they was in the thick of it, and so when you hear about all of these stories about these people's losing their life and they're associated with Diddy, man, they might want to be suited and booted. Oh, we got yeah, we got to get on Russell tomorrow. Mika, you want to get Russell Simmons tomorrow? Cause I'm gonna leave these two bit two bit swindlers alone, man. They just giving me headaches, man. Them swindlers give me headaches, man. Zzz. Like like, come on, man. They, they they really giving me headaches, man. I might I might do that on my crash out channel. I mean, but them swindlers, man. Like like, who are they? Like like, if we like family for real. Let me let me be clear. If in 2024, we can't identify a disingenuous person on the internet, I'm sorry. We're going to have to eat that one. I mean, after I, I could see when the internet first start. You know what I'm saying? I could see, I see when it start to gain momentum. Like, come on now. This is 2024. And you're going to let somebody sell you on the idea that they got an underground city? You're going to let somebody sell you on the idea that they're creating an institution? And it ain't nothing but a liquor store front and a club? We really go, that, that's what we're doing. That's what we doing. Nah, man, we got to wake up. We got to wake up. But with that being said, um, they was coming. They was coming today. Look at that. Oh, yeah. And, and, and Diddy had the drop. Diddy had the drop. Let's see if we can find any updates 
uh, on Diddy. Diddy had to drop. But look at this. Look at this. This this is the one I like. We're all writing tell-all books. Let me stop oh, Jaguar. Shout out to Jaguar, man. Because people was thinking she was crazy, man. And I would just sit back and listen. And that's the thing about me. I listen to people like this. I never cover these. Sometimes I could have had this story as a breaking story earlier. I heard this joint early part of the day. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to start breaking these stories. I'm going to start breaking them. It is what it is. I'm going to start breaking the internet with these stories. Because I be having these stories. You know what I mean? But what I've been trying to do is, um, what I've been trying to do is make sure that we uh, expose these low life uh, $2 frauds. You know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, we got we going for the big fish. You know what I mean? Like these low life two dollar frauds, uh, 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 leasing leasing uh Rolls Royces to try to look like they got money, uh, 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 uh you know what I mean? Uh, uh, getting a mortgage that they can't afford, then they gotta grift people twice a year and all of that old dumb stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like man, these two dollar frauds, man, we ain't got time to play with them no more. You know what I mean? Let's go. Writing tell-all books. Uptown Records started with five people. Andre Harrell, I'll be sure, Heavy D, and Puffy. And Kim was the longest working employee because she was there from the very beginning. She was Andre's personal assistant. Kim is dead. Heavy D is dead. Andre Harrell is dead. The only two left are Puffy and Al, and Al almost died. Heavy D was found dead face down in the heart attack. Andre Harrell heart attack. Kim died from pneumonia, but there's the first coroner's report that said that she died. It, it was ruled a homicide and they found toxins in her body to prove that she had been poisoned. You know, they, they have poisons that create heart attack and pneumonia-like symptoms. And then right after that, Al had a meeting and I was going to meet up with him because we were in Vegas and then Oh. You want to know what they all had in common, though? The survivors and the, and, and the late of Uptown Records. Oh, I was talking. My bad, my bad, my bad. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. I was going, I was saying that even though, even though I say I'm going to start covering some of these stories because these stories are very, very unique. They are very, very intriguing. And it's a testament to how crazy we have become. Like Orlando Brown. And shout out to Mike O'Connor um, uh, uh, for the super chat. Check out, like Orlando Brown, for example. You know what I mean? She speaks truth just like Orlando Brown does. You know what I mean? Somebody said I was just freestyling. <laughs> Y'all can hear me down, right? But um, shout out to Mike O'Connor. I appreciate you, Mike O'Connor. Um, but yeah, but these type of people, we need to get on, on Morris World TV now. Some of these people that are speaking out, because let me tell you something for real. I come to see the other day that family, I'm somewhat famous. I never knew I was famous. Listen what I'm saying. No ego thing. The other day it dawned on me, and I told the story yesterday, where the guy said to me, the guy said to me, I know you, you the Huckabee. I just think I'm the regular guy going to get me some fits in the African store 
And everywhere I go, somebody knows me. Somebody knows me. So I I, I guess I'm going to use what I what I've attracted and we're going to get some of these stories out and we're going to blow the channel up even more. You know what I mean? And let these haters hate. We're going to let them hate now. We're going to let them hate now because, because I, I'm starting to see now that my voice carries a long way. But sometimes, but sometimes people, are, um, because I do repetition shows, I do serial shows, I mean, I'm a serial reporter, if you will. Some people go and come back, go and come back. And so what we're going to do is we're going to cover a, 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 a long range of topics. But we're also going to put out the documentaries of all the people that we have already uncovered. I'm talking about, listen, I'm talking about I can prove that people are agents and when i say agents i'm saying i can prove that if i said someone was an agent an informant i'm saying that i can prove by the person's own admission by my research i can prove it now now many times i gave you some circumstantial stuff Nah, not no more. Not no more. I can prove it. That's going to be in the documentary. And now if people still want to go that way, that's on them. That's on them. That's on them. They can do it if they want to. Uh, shout out to who we got here. Uriah. Uriah the one. He said, crazy how a young man that spent summers in Antigua told me Sean was his cousin even before he blew up and explained he would be big. Wow. Wow. But but the thing is about Antigua, he must go into Antigua. Now, if he's trying to get low, let's, let's get serious real quick. If he's trying to get low, if he's going to Antigua, he's only going to Antigua to uh uh to 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 go from there to another location because one thing about Antigua it has a treaty with the United States Antigua and Barbuda's locations uh close to the US Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico make an attractive trans uh shipment point for narcotics traffickers to address these problems the United States and Antigua and Bar Bar Barbuda I might mess that up. Signed a series of counter narcotics and anti crime treaties and agreements, including a maritime law enforcement agreement. Subsequently, subsequently, amended to include overflight and order to land provisions, a bilateral extradition treaty, and a mutual legal assistance treaty. So if he's going there to try to get low, that could only be a transfer point. I guess, let me see if any updates on that right now. Let me see if any updates on that right now. Man, thank you so much, Uriah the One. Thanks for, thanks for, um, thanks for the super chat. Um, yeah, I'm ready to change. I'm ready, I'm ready to change. I think I can give wisdom to a lot of these stories. I'm ready to change the whole demonstration. I'm going to get these haters mad. I mean, we're going to get Jaguar right up on the show. We're going to get Orlando Brown on the show. And we're going to expose frauds on a whole new another level. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're going to expose frauds on a whole another level. Because, because you know what? Many people bank on me with, with, with me and Moochie uh, collective skill of research, many people bank on the idea that I'm going to stay bogged down with one topic. And in reality, that's not a good thing because if I get bogged down on one topic, uh, get caught up in the ego thing and get bogged down on one topic, what will happen is, is that some of these other topics that we can bring clarity to, they get away. You know what I mean? They get away. 
they get away scot-free. And we got the best research on the internet. We got the best research. We told you who that boy name was. Do you follow me? We told you who that boy name was. Y'all ain't know that? That's right. We did. We told you who that boy name was. Ain't nobody want to believe it. Who did it before us? So I'm trying to tell you. Ain't nobody do it before us. We did that. We did that. We told you that mystery ball was. You know what I mean? So, hey, and we're going to do it again. And we're going to do it again. You know what I mean? We're going to show you who it is, but we're going to do it on a whole nother level. <laughs> GS, put them brick busters on, on anybody. Yeah. That we, man, I'm trying to tell you. Let me show you a few. Let me get, let me get a little bit more. Let me show you. Um... Oh, look at this. I wanted to read this to you too. I wanted to share this with you before before we close out. Um let's look at the the pot conspiracy. Family, I'm a conspiracy theorist to a degree. Check this out. It says Sean Diddy Combs home raided for potential trafficking, aka Puff daddy why i just pulled this up off of twitter tupac will be the will be the first indictment to shock the world february 6 1996 tupac shakur sentenced to 4.5 years in prison for assault conviction and trafficking he was announced the unlived seven months later in las vegas September 13, 1996. Y'all catching all this? Let's catch it one more time. Yep, I got that. I got that, Michael Khan. I got the whole report uh, where Diddy was at the... Uh, re- Listen, take this in slow. February 6, 1996, Tupac Shakur was sentenced to 4.5 years in prison for S assault, conviction, and S trafficking. He was announced dead seven months later in Las Vegas, September the 13th, 1996. Seven. Tupac was so popular and the deaf and the deaf worldwide news in the Deaf Worldwide News coverage. The reveal will wake up an entire generation who believe the media lies for 27 years exactly 320 months ago. If the media gets exposed to that lie, the people will awaken and all of the news manipulation in the matrix. Maybe the shot heard around the world was in the past Tupac was shot on September the 13th, 1996, a.k.a. 10,055 days from March 25th, 10-10. Not sure what that means. Tupac moved to San Francisco in 1998. Church of Satan. This is this is the weird stuff. I like to read this weird stuff. I'm sharing with you now. I'm trying to take it all in myself. A Black Swan event, all roads lead to San Francisco. Maybe he was a marker. Both his parents was political activists in the Black Panther Party. Chadwick Boseman, the Black Panther, died August 28, 2020, or 23 years, 11 months after Tupac's 11.5. Remember, it's the 5th of November. Now, I got to go back and figure this out later. But I know these people who are trying to do all of these numbers are working with numbers to try to connect all of these dots. You know what I'm saying? Let's get all, I want to read all the way down to the get to the Diddy part though. It says, California Love was on an album which was used in the movie Valentine's Day, which happened to be tomorrow. I guess that's when they wrote this. The album was released by Death Row Records, the label founded by Suge Knight, Dr. Dre, Super Bowl. This they might be a bunch of gibberish. <laughs> this might be a bunch of gibberish. 
say, say, who wrote this, King Simon? <laughs> hey, Crip, King Simon sent this to the inbox and set me up. <laughs> After his death row album, Don Kaluminati, the Seven Day Theory was released, Kaluminati. There was two ties to Clinton on his Wikipedia site. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stargate, you funny. Yeah. What's they said this to me? Interesting side note Jada Pickett Smith was listed as one of his best friends that will. Uh, Smith is. Ah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's nothing. <laughs> King Simon sent that to me. I'm sitting up here reading this foolishness. Man, get out of here. <laughs> no, nah, I'm just <laughs> But But anyway, you know what's funny, though? What's crazy is Kim Porter. Kim Porter tell all allegedly included salacious stories about Sean Combs' LGB relationship. She comes up missing. Look at all the people come up missing. Diddy, man, he got some stuff on his hand. Oh, man, listen, listen. Take that, take that. Diddy that came in the building. <laughs> Diddy that came in the building, man. Diddy, listen, where you at, Diddy? Diddy, 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 listen. Do you have a want or you just you just getting low because you ain't feel like uh, them harassing you? Huh? <laughs> take that. Take that. <laughs> then, he, then he came in the middle. I told you we bring it all the I told you we bring it all the big stars up in here, man. Y'all think it's a game. That's right. We bring all the big stars up in here, man. They're gonna speak for themselves. <laughs> They're gonna speak for themselves. That's right. That's right. Me. It's like, shout out to Diddy. Take that, take that. <laughs> nah, hold up. He said he ain't a fruitcake. But oh no, Diddy. Right here, this is an old Diddy picture. Man, this would have been super sus back in the day. Man, we would have clowned him around my way. This is an old Diddy picture. Oh, we would have clowned him. He didn't put the wet, moist stuff in his head, too, like moist lips did back in the day. Oh, yeah, we would have clowned him. Oh, yeah, round my way. <laughs> hey, 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 we have original people. You see me troll Desert Eagle. Hey, <laughs> we would have clowned him back in the day. That's right. Just because he had that old moist stuff in his head. Oh, man, we the clown. He couldn't, man, he couldn't come on the block with us. We the clown him. Jay Bizzle. You know we would have clowned this fool, man. Look at him. Now, you know good and well that that man is, is, is sweeter than a bag of Domino sugar. <laughs> if you ain't from Baltimore, you might don't know that. Do they sell Domino sugar around the country? That's a Baltimore thing. Yeah. Yeah. Do they? <laughs> Diddy, Diddy, go do yourself, man. They said Diddy to yourself, man. Hey, man, y'all something else. Yeah, man, y'all something else. But you know what's crazy? Five days ago, Diddy was in L.A. chilling. This is five days ago. Five days ago, Diddy was in L.A. chilling. But today, he out of here. Mm -mm -mm. You know, how, but you know the thing is, is that what's funny about people is when people try to run, one thing that they can't run from is themselves. Like you got to take that self with you wherever you going. Like if you committed these crazy at atrocities, you got to take yourself with you wherever you go. You follow me? Wait, it gets worse. Can y'all hear my can y'all hear my sound fam? I think I fixed my sound. Yeah. How do I sound? It's slow. It's slow. I'm trying to be your friend, man. I'm gonna be your this. friend, bro. Help me out. It's sound electronic. Meet me halfway. Come on. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna be your friend. Peace and love. Let me be your friend. I appreciate Peace your love. Family. I said you ain't never met a more like me. And you ain't we never big ever, show ever down, me man. wanna get I'm not I'm all about justice, that's the focus. 
Not to make us all, you need to chill, my brother. Tell the elder the same, cause on the real my I'm man, I'm really about them things. I can take the players off and get yeah, back in the flow. And return to the state where they used to call me dope. But no, I'm rolling with the prophet of the law. Want love, not war. Standing on that floor, and I'm holding the square. The compass and the axe that might be too deep. Yo, let's not get off track. See, I prophet was an adept. Do you know what that is? An Egyptian adept is a brother who lived by the I'll sit at the foot of a master I train you up, but I might have to bang you up I still love you And those that's talking that this ain't Islam Everything the prophet bought is in the Quran All the other stuff prostrate and cover up is just the start And there's place to me the laws the heart You can dress like a protect, but you can dress like a herb By the most American Muslim unifies the word You can say what you want about Dr. Yo But he gave you different variations of the same thought You don't appreciate that, you won't appreciate the holy and divine true by link People refuse to admit it He the first that ever did it Europeans hope that the Moors would forget it But we're here, strong, alive and well Resurrected from hell With a story to tell So pay attention and listen And consider the facts You know it's humanly impossible for you to be black I guess a Chinaman is yellow A Mexican is brown Just think for a second How ridiculous it sounds We can turn it around But we must unite It's okay to disagree But we don't have to fight Cause if we Hey!